Hey y'all, um, got a little uh, tutorial here to be able to show how to import or import into um, GarageBand for iOS files that you have sent from GarageBand on the Mac. Doesn't really matter which GarageBand you have on the Mac, I happen to have the latest at this point is 10.1. But it does matter that you have at least a GarageBand uh, 2.1 on your iOS device. So first thing you're going to do is, uh, once you've got your tracks recorded, you're going to export one track at a time. So I now have all of these tracks muted. And I am going to um, export one, of these tra uh, one track at a time by unmuting it, and then coming to the share, and export the song to disk or you could send it right by mail but export the song to disk and we're gonna just name it um, I'm gonna actually name it the name of the track that I had selected and uh, and we're gonna just save that in a location that I know where it is I'm saving it in a GarageBand folder and we're gonna export that I'm going to export it as an AAC file. It can be any of those, but this, this one works well, and it's fairly small. If you're worried about compression, you can save it as an AIFF, and uh, I'm not worried about compression on this one, so I'm going to export that. It goes through the exporting process, and there you go. At that point, well, once you've got all your tracks done, then you can actually quit the garage band and then I'm gonna open up the iOS app here and I'm gonna show you what we need to do within iOS well first um, before I do that you take those tracks and you email them to yourself um, make sure that you can receive email on your iOS device and then uh, and then we'll import them at that point from the iOS device so alrighty okay so before we leave the Mac, it's a little easier to do it here than it is from the iPad. If you get your mail on your Mac, then you can open the file and it'll show you that you've got three different um, attachments or however many. I, I went and saved three of the tracks just to be able to demonstrate this. And it's quicker to be able to come here and say save all. Then you can tell them where to save it. You want to save it to your iCloud drive. Okay. So once we go to the iCloud Drive, then we are going to save them. And there they went. And they are being saved to the iCloud Drive. So it's important that you save them to the iCloud Drive, and it's easier to do that from the Mac. Now we'll move to the iPad. So here we are on an iOS device with the mail program open. And uh, I have, uh, with the, um, the the actual files are there in the email that I sent myself and we're looking at the attachments and you need to click on one of the attachments and hold it, your finger on it. Click and hold. So I do that with Levi and up it comes and we want to click on the save and it comes up with some choices and it's uh, we want to go to the iCloud Drive but if it's not happens to be there you need to click on the location where it says location in the top left hand portion of that pop-up and choose the iCloud Drive. And so you click on the iCloud and then you say at the very bottom to uh, save to this location and click on that. And I have to rename it here because I already have that, uh, we just saved that device or that file to my email account so I'm going to go in and resave to a different file name. And so we're doing that. And then we save. And we have to do that now with all three of those. So that's why I like doing it from a computer because if you have 30 tracks that you're doing, that's quite a process to do it uh, and save them to that location from your iPad. But you can do it from your iPad if you need to. So that's the way you do it. 
So here we are uh, on the uh, iOS, on my iPad 2. A bit older machine, but still running the latest version of iOS, and this is the latest version of GarageBand. Uh, it's GarageBand 2.1. So we need to open up GarageBand, and then we need to create a new song. Uh, so we hit the plus button on the upper left-hand side, and we can't import from the cloud drive, because that doesn't work. So we actually have to create a new song, and uh, we want to click on the audio recorder to go from there. Now this isn't quite the screen that we want once this loads. Oh, I'm using AirPlay. <laughs> That's what I'm recording that way. So uh, this isn't the screen that we use. We need to go to a, a different recording screen. So it's the third icon from the left. It says my songs, first icon, or second icon, third icon looks like bars. You have to click on that. It turns to a microphone and switches to the track mode. And so that's what we want. Now we have to do a couple of things. First, we need to hit the plus button that's on the very right hand side of the where the measures are. And we need to change eight bars to where it will say automatic and turn that on. And then we go to the loop function. Uh, which is the fourth icon over from the right, right there. And we want to go to Audio Files. And uh, we want to then get them from the cloud drive, the iCloud drive. And that is where you just saved them from your um, mail program, is to your iCloud drive. And so now I'm going to click on Levi. There's no kind of indication that I've even touched it, but it is actually doing its thing and it shows up there. It shows up and we can click and hold the icon of Levi and drag it to where we want it in our new song. And then to do the next track, we hit that loop button again and it comes up to the iCloud drive automatically and this time I'm gonna do Maddie right next to Levi and hit Maddie and Takes a bit. Be faster on a newer iPad. Take the Maddie and click, and you can drag it right underneath the Levi or wherever you want to put it, and it creates a new track. And there it is. And so that's how you import all of your tracks. And uh, once you've got them imported, you can treat them like you do any other recording. You can put effects on them or whatever you need to do. And, uh, and there it is. It uh, makes it for a uh, a uh, little bit of a workaround to be able to get it to work on iOS. So have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this.